Hey, hey, Wild West Adventures. We are taking the old wagon train route up to Globe, Arizona. Come on with us to our adventures. Be sure to like and subscribe. See you there. Hey Wild West Adventures, what town is as big as the world? Globe, Arizona, of course. I come to you from the Globe Cemetery, where the first internment occurred in 1876. We're gonna check out the graves of two Wild West notables. Let's come on and check it out. You've heard of Billy Clanton. You've heard of Ike Clanton. But have you ever heard of Finn Clanton? Finn Clanton was part of the cowboy faction along with his brothers, Ike and Billy. Billy was killed at the gunfight at the OK Corral and Ike and Finn Johnny Ringo, Curly Bill, and the rest of the cowboys formed a posse to go after the Earps. At the same time, the Earps formed a posse to chase after the cowboys. Things eventually died out between the Earps and the cowboys. The Earps and Holiday went their various ways, Colorado, California, Oregon, and Alaska. The cowboys, those that were still alive, eventually settled in different parts of Arizona. Ike and his brother Finn Clanton eventually became involved in a cattle rustling operation. On May 31, 1887, U.S. Marshals came and knocked on the door of a house that both Ike and Finn were staying at. Ike ran off, got on his horse, U.S. Marshals shot and killed him. He died the next day on June 1st. Finn Clanton, being the only one still alive and around, was the one that stood charges for cattle rustling. He was arrested and sentenced to 10 years at the Yuma Territorial Prison. However, little after a year, he was pardoned because the witness who testified on the stand was found to be lying in order to collect the reward. Finn Clinton came up to Globe, Arizona. He went into business with an old friend from the Tombstone days, Pete Spence. They ran a small goat farm. They sold Angora goats. He eventually married a woman named Laura in 1902, but four years later, he succumbed to pneumonia and died. He's buried here at the Globe Cemetery. Four years later, his widow, Laura, married his best friend and partner, Pete Spence. A few years after that, Spence himself died, and she had him buried here, in an unmarked grave next to his old buddy, Finn Clanton. Pete Spence was born Elliot Larkin Ferguson in 1852. He became a Texas Ranger and rose to the rank of second lieutenant. He eventually found himself out in Arizona, specifically Tombstone. He was suspected in the assassination of Morgan Earp, and he was one of the targets for the Earp Vendetta Ride. 
But Pete Spence was a smart man. He had Johnny Bayhan arrest him, and he held up inside the Cochise County Sheriff's Office in the jail to avoid being killed by Wyatt Earp and his vendetta ride. And he later went on to wear a badge again. He became a deputy sheriff, and in that capacity, he pistol whipped a man he was in the process of arresting. He was sentenced to five years for manslaughter, but like his friend Finn Clanton, only served 18 months before he was pardoned. In 1910, he married his best friend's widow, and he lived out the rest of his life here in Globe. When he died, she buried him in an unmarked grave next to his best friend and business partner, Finn Clanton. If you like this video and would like to see more, be sure to subscribe to Wild West Adventures. Give it a thumbs up and hit that bell button to receive notifications of all of our new videos. Cruising around Globe, Arizona, and we discovered this building, which is the tallest three-story structure in the world. Check it out. Tallest three-story building in the world. And it was once the BPOE the Elks Lodge, built in 1910. Check out what we found. Big Nose Kate's rooming house from 1872. So if you walk up here, hopefully you guys can see in there, there is a stairway in there. Don't know if you can see it, but there's a staircase leading upwards to the rooming house, which would have been up there. Down below, it was probably a bar or a saloon at some point. Well, that's the backside of Big Nose Kate's rooming house. From this angle, it doesn't look like much except for the Copper Parrot restaurant. But God, it would be so cool to get up in there. We'll see what we can do about next time getting up in there and taking a tour. Until next time. We're here inside the Gila County Historical Museum checking out early globe and Gila County history. Let's check out what there is to see. All right, look at this. This top photo was taken in 1917. And you see the Gila River right there. And you come through and check out the building I'm pointing at right there is the courthouse and jail. This photo was taken in 2015, and again, there is the courthouse and jail, and the river is right over here on the side there. So now you can see the view of globe, then, and now. This room at the Gila County Museum is dedicated to Native American artifacts. Let's check out some of the cool things they have found and they have uh, received from their Native American friends.
check out this really cool wooden map showing the different ranches in the area uh, as well as the San Carlos Indian Reservation brands and all of the private ranch brands. Here you see Roosevelt Lake. There's the San Carlos River. The Salt River up here. This here is the ranching display showing the various tools of the ranching trade. Oh, oh, there's a cowboy there. He startled me. And so many kinds of barbed wire. I've never seen so many types before. And of course your trusty Winchesters. If you ever find yourself up in Globe, I highly recommend a trip to the Gila County Historical Museum. The place is phenomenal and it has a lot of different artifacts. Um, this room we're in here now um, is a tribute to um, early emergency service and fire rescue here in Globe. This building um, was actually the historic mine rescue station, which was built in 1920. And it's right across the street from the Old Dominion Mine, in fact. And it was from here when any kind of um, mine emergency situation would happen. Uh, firemen and emergency personnel out of this facility would go to the mine to rescue people. And in this room, uh, there are all kinds of displays on early mine equipment, early mine rescue equipment. It's a very interesting museum, and I highly recommend it to anyone who may be passing through Globe. It may not be in the history books, it may not be on their historical landmarks, but check out Globeopoly, the first property, Grave of Finn Clanton, for a whopping $70. All right, fellow Wild West adventurers, I hope you enjoyed our day up in Globe, Arizona. We enjoyed ourselves. If you like this, please be sure to subscribe to our channel, give us a thumbs up, hit that bell button to receive notifications. Onward to the next one.